as, as, as an alumni of uh, business school, I have just got the minutes that were saved today. <laughs> so you will know that I will speak five minutes. <laughs> um, I think maybe first I must say that uh, um, the, the leadership training program started last year. I, I did not attend any part of it. I just saw the report and the money going out to pay for something. Mm -hmm. um, I, I, I had an opportunity to speak to the task team this year. For the first time I saw the program and I realized that I was put on the panel anywhere, nowhere else. Uh, then I realized that I'm becoming very insignificant in the university. Mm -hmm. But I want to take this opportunity to thank our Spady, uh, Mr. Mkhanedi twice, better known as uh, Jonas, um, he was not a staff member then, I'm proud to say he's joined the team now. Tapelo uh, Likala, that is here. And uh, um, I know that Jackie is also here. Vuyani was, Vuyani was a student last year, was a staff, was assistant something there. Student assistant. Student assistant, and I see Mkwane is well here. And um, Hester, um, I know you are not part of this task team, but I'm not sure if you've got students from Hedo. A lot of them. Uh, I want to say to your students that I'm very proud of you. Um, it's, it's always that you find Hester attending voluntarily. And the question I always ask, which is critical to this conversation we have, your rest managers that are not here were invited. You need to go and ask them why they were not here. <laughs> no, because that's where it starts. We're having this conversation, you are filled up, you are We've got all this energy, you arrive there, the person doesn't understand what you're saying. Mm -hmm. We want to change this this way we were told. What? So that is what delays progress. Because you must first educate them. So we are paid by this university to do justice. That's why we always have problems in the university. People are doing things that, look, I am a unionist, sorry, shop steward, but hold people <laughs> accountable for what they are appointed for. So that's very important. So, But nonetheless, my... I wanted to just thank you guys because I don't see my name anywhere on the program. So I'm going to see you. I'm not sure if I'm going to still see you. Is it there for tomorrow? Okay. So let me then cut that part. Thank you very much. I wanted to just express that. Uh, guys, the, getting back to my summary is, I, I've asked this question and I'm not sure if it was loud and clear. Why are you here? And I know you guys, you can have many answers, but I, 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 I strongly feel that you, you are here because you believe. The thoughts that you have should drive you on towards achieving that which you want to achieve. And I want to say um, to my colleagues and also in particular, Vice President of the Convocation is that, and, and Mr. Kraswell is that, we need to start writing history. I know the conversation is there at IF and also in Council. And we need to start recording university history. We, we, we are lacking on that part. And the minute we do that, we know that people will want to be part of the university success, and that's how you brand, because everybody would want their name in the history books of the university. I think that's a positive thing we need to start taking serious. Ethical leadership. In many problems that MJ says the university have, I think we have a problem of ethical leadership, whether it's staff or students. I think university needs to put this as an important aspect to deal with. The other aspect is which I wanted to speak to, but I always see the clips that go about the, the, the conversion of the ABCs. You know, how people speak about to say that A, ability to do what, B, believe in what you do. I think we need to try to find ourselves in the alphabetical order until set. If I had the time, I would go through how I imagine that to happen. The one point that I want to make last is TUT did not choose us. We chose it. Ma never make that mistake. No matter how you got here, TUT did not choose you. You chose it. So let us not damage this precious national asset. If you do not think that you are relevant to the university, ship out. And that applies to staff and students. So I say, let us value this asset and let's, let's do best for it. Thank you.